Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. Check it out, where are we? We are in our Airstream building here at Blue Compass RV of Orlando, and we actually have a full deck of Airstreams here. I'm super excited. The most exciting product that everybody's been asking for. Aside from the Pottery Barn, which I definitely want to do a video of that one before it sells, is... <laughs> Guys, it's the new Airstream Range Line. And this is the new 2024. It's got a new package on the exterior, couple new features on the interior, and we are going to check it out. Because okay, so here is the new 2024 Airstream Range Line. She is on the Dodge Ram chassis, and they did a special edition with Airstream. They've got this beautiful front grille that looks really, really sleek and clean. It's blacked out completely. Now this model is optioned with the silver paint package, and you also have the, um, pop top up there, which is why you've got that black sort of looking cover right above the driver and the passenger that's gonna extend almost all the way down the rig uh, on the ends. And then when we get inside, I will open her up and we can see what it looks like with the pop top up and with the pop top down. We're pretty much doing an unboxing here, guys, because this just rolled in on the lot yesterday. And so the mattress is still in the plastic. I will take that out and open it up and show you the bed properly set up, right? <laughs> Made that mistake once before. Um, Upgraded features, I'll list them below a link where you can go to Airstream, but off the top of my head, I know the new the grill is new, some of the tethers on the inside are new, and then they added um, rear springs, I guess is what I read on the website. So, um, I mean, they rode great to begin with, but I can't imagine what they're gonna ride like now with these new rear springs. On the back end, you can see a clean Airstream and Rangeline logo there. You do have a generator on board, actually. Let's Let's crawl down here and check it out. I noticed this on the other one parked outside. It's a gas generator, 2,800 watts. Quiet gas generator from Onan, from Cummins. And um, you've got a stinky slinky storage right there on the right, so that's awesome. It looks like you could possibly hook something up to tow, but I mean the hitch, uh, it's probably not rated for all that much. I can see some rear springs there. You see those yellow springs in the back? So looking good, looking good. Let's get off this dirty floor. <clears throat> And continue, you've got the backup camera there, right? On the exterior, here's the thing. I've got one, two, three windows that you can actually open up for a nice cross breeze. What's really neat on the range line, guys, what do you not see that I just did in the video of the arc, okay? If you open up this back door, let's check it out. You are greeted with the one and only floor plan of the range line, which right now it's not set up, so you have storage, right? And on the right side here below the bed is actually your freshwater tank. And then on the left side, it houses some storage and also some of the electrical related to the solar panel in the back there. You can kind of see it through. Funny enough, you've got the battery disconnect back here, which kind of threw me off the first time I saw a range line. Usually it's in the stairwell when you first enter. Uh, nice floors here. You've got the L-Track with the option for tie downs there. And then there is your breaker box there on the left. But um. What's missing, right? My last one, the Arc that I did a video on, that was super popular, uh, had the five gallon removable tank, the black tank, right? Which was super controversial because people said, actually, Gabby, that's about 40 something pounds when it's fully loaded with uh, caca. <laughs> so over here, Rangeline has done this fantastic collaboration with, um, actually with Dodge Ram. And you've got this nice sleek compartment which it does take a, a little bit to open up. And I probably should fast forward through this part, but okay, there you go. So it is attached there. Look, you have got an actual tank. So you have a place to plug in your city water, the spray port, the Santa flush there, and then and then you're, you actually have a dump, which is awesome. So uh, that's crazy for a small little motorhome around 18 feet, 19 feet, great option. 
uh, for the range line. If you are looking for a class B van and you really, really can't stand the idea of dumping that five gallon tank, this is definitely a winner, winner chicken dinner for that, okay? Uh, your smart plug from Airstream has um, way more points of contact than your average 30 amp, 50 amp power supply. So it's a very safe uh, rated plug. And I guess that about covers the exterior of the Airstream. Your gas, your fuel is right here. You're gonna open up the driver's door and then pop this. Actually, I guess I could keep the door closed, right? I'm so used to the diesels where it's, you have to open the door to get to it. But that is the exterior of the range line. You've got the nice black package on the tires as well. Check that out. Super nice looking rims. And let's head on in and check out the inside. Hey everybody, this is Gabby from the future. I am currently editing the video and I just wanted to insert this clip showing you how the manual awning comes in and out. Halfway through this video, I realized that the arm to open the awning, you can actually extend it so that I didn't have to stand on my tippy toes for the rest of the video. That little arm is housed in the back of the unit. If you open it up, there's a little insert up above the bed where you can store it. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Before we go inside, I wanted to make sure that I do a thorough job going through the range line since they're hard to come by and I probably won't have another one here in a, for a while. And a lot of people are like, I really wanna see one in person before I order one. But honestly, a majority of the way to get one is to order one. Um, you kinda just gotta know that it's the one. Trust me, it is high quality and it's beautiful and it's definitely worth it. Um, it is a manual awning, as you could see <laughs> in the video of me setting it up. What's funny is, about halfway through the video, me realizing that I can in fact extend the arm of the awning further than I realized so that I'm not struggling as a short person to kind of um, open it up. Now, the awning arm, like the crank for it is actually housed on the back side of the unit where the um, back doors open. If you look up, you'll see that little crank right there. It's, it's got like its own storage space up there so they actually utilize every little nook and cranny of storage and i did forget while i'm back here on the doors there are these metal like attachments that you can buy like bungee cords and things and attach uh, you know your gear in these two areas back here on the back side of the unit okay total length on this is 21 feet it is not 18 or 19 or 20 folks it is 20 one feet, so it is comparable and similar to the Integra Ethos, the Jayco Swift. It is not nearly as small as the Integra Arc that I did the video of a couple weeks back from Hershey. And, but yeah, the awning is awesome. It will actually lift a lot higher. I just don't have the strength right now. It's, it's like 89 degrees humidity in here and I'm by myself, but basically on the inner rail of this awning, those legs pop out from here. Basically, you pull them from the edge, you turn them, and then you insert them. And this black nozzle, this it comes, see, I just like released the awning. So you can drop it in there, and then basically you unlock this, you raise the awning, and then lock it back into place. So that is awesome, beautiful awning. And now let's go in and check out the real enjoyment. Look at that. When you first walk in, you're greeted with these three cubbies for your shoes. You've got a a little button for the light, the master light switch for on and off. I, I guess it's just on because it's already on already and it's not turning off. And then the patio. So that one will turn on and off with the patio. So there's your little like grooved floor here. It's almost like a, like a carpeted floor really. And that's what you're looking at when you're going down the range line. It does come with some accessories. There's some more on the outside there, but this is the Moonstone gray interior. And they also have, I think it's a navy like blue interior, if I'm not mistaken. So cabinetry remains pretty similar in both, but uh, seats can change. Now this beautiful leather uh, is obviously upholstered by Airstream. It is not from Dodge Ram, super comfy seats. Back here, you've got three point seat belts. You have this great table that extends out. If I can unlock it with one hand. So basically there's a knob under here. You, you click it and I'm sorry for this weird angle but then that unlocks it and you have the ability to turn the table this way and even turn the table uh, out this way it locks or I'm pretty sure I can continue to turn it around yeah all the way out 
right? And then same thing, if you swivel these seats and the person over there wants more table, you can turn it all the way that way. So it's a really versatile table. It's really easy to play with. I mean, that wasn't that hard. I just, you know, went below it with one hand, locked it, unlocked it. Sorry, now I've got like my elbow across the table and I'm trying to do this all by myself. There we go. Okay. Whew. Window here actually opens for a breeze for the passenger. That's awesome. You've got two drawers for storage up above. You push that button, nice and sleek looking, really strong um, uh, latches to hold them up. Wow, yeah, that's really, really strong. Whew. That or I'm a little tired. Um, Dodge Ram chassis has been upfitted. Look at this, digital dash on the Dodge Ram chassis here. And then massive, massive center screen. Uh, it is a push start, so actually, where are my keys? Should be in my pocket. Let's see if we can turn her on. I know she was low on gas yesterday. So basically just press and hold the brake down, push the button. As long as your keys are in your pocket or whatnot, it will start up. Check this out. Look at that. Huge like computer, laptop, iPad screen, maybe not a laptop unless you like tiny laptops, but you've got navigation on here. You've got your media controls for the radio. Let's see what else we got. We got Sirius XM. You've got, probably I would remind me later. Uh, looks like your Bluetooth audio and then Bluetooth device pairing. It looks like there's a place for your maybe Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Have to confirm that as I'm editing the video, I'll put, in, I'll put down below if that's what that is. But yeah, really awesome. There's some trip features in here so you can kind of see current miles per gallon and the range till you're out of fuel. Yeah, I'm really low on fuel right now. And check it out, full through, uh, like bird's eye view of the, of the van, cause it's not really a real view of the van, but it shows me that the doors open and the back doors are open. So that's pretty awesome. And then you've got like all the controls you would have on a, on a higher end motor home in here. Just really, really nice and clean looking. And then on the left, I've got power windows obviously and then your heated mirrors and your parking brake brake is electric that was interesting for me so that you just pull and it sets the parking brake electronically there's no more of this like handle here that sometimes gets stuck on those smaller motorhomes oh oh and let's not forget there's an a phone holder for your like a wireless charging so I'm using my phone right now. I can't put it in there to show you, but if I put my phone in, it would automatically just start charging because that back is a charger. Isn't that awesome? And there's the, the door lock. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. That's a really, really awesome front end. I'm glad I had the keys and was able to show you that. Uh, mirror here. Oh, wait. Gotta do this again. Oh, check it out. There's literally a 19 right behind me, so. Um, this is the backup camera in the mirror. How awesome is that? I'm not looking down. I'm actually looking at my rear view mirror like you would in your car and you can see what's behind you. That is really, really cool. Um, I don't have side view cameras, but hey, 21 feet, I really can do without them. I mean, that's like a big SUV at this point, truck, smaller than a truck. So yeah, great, great, great front end. I love that mirror feature. Okay, here's your passenger seat. So you can see the two-tone color. And you've got your little kitchen here, right? Okay, so we've got our kitchen. Whoop! <laughs> I forgot there was a stair there, guys. Be careful. So here's the thing with this, okay? All the storage, and we have an induction cooktop. So you can store your induction cooktop in here. You've got plenty of counter space when you want to be prepping. And then you just take it out to cook and put it back. All the rest of these drawers, same thing. They are soft closed. Look at that. So nice. Soft closed drawers. Super high end and just fantastic. So lots of storage in the kitchen area of the range line. I do wanna point out, you have your sink, right? You've got some cubbies for your spices and things like that. They really try to utilize every space. This JBL speaker is fantastic because you can hook up Bluetooth and also you can take it off of this mount and bring it on hikes with you. How cool is that? So it actually, it's kind of like a extra set of speakers that comes with your rig really because you can take it out and actually use it when you're out there. Now you've got two screens up here, you've got your uh, kind of like a Firefly multiplex, like, like, I think it's Firefly, honestly, it's called, but this is your main control for your generator, your lights, your, um, auto gen start, your, uh, inverter and your solar and climate control for the AC, which by the way is back there and it's sleek and black. Um, 
And then right next door is the Timberline system. So it's actually, um, there's no propane on board. This is gonna be a radiant heat system. So you have the heater and the hot water heater and no, absolutely no propane on board the range line. So I feel like between the no propane on board and then no five gallon black waste tank, this thing just rose up on the top of people's lists. Look at this. This is the pop top when it's closed. And now I'm gonna take a minute to open it. I don't know if I could show you while I'm opening it because it's gonna be difficult for me to do, but I will open it up and I'll show you what it looks like open. YouTube, you cannot say that I did not try in this one to set everything up correctly for you. I just put my phone, <laughs> by the way, on this power tower because I was trying to show you what it looked like to open up the pop top. Now, what I failed to read first was the manual because I said, how bad can it be? Well, the truth is, here's what we're looking at here. Let me turn you around. All right, let me turn this light off so I can kind of show you what we're dealing with. So this is the lock unlock mechanism, which I found when I was originally looking for it and I unlocked it and then I kept pushing and nothing was giving way. Well, it turns out the best way to unlock this is actually to attach this ladder, which is housed folded in half right here. Here, I'll back up. This is a really tight space to do all this, but the ladder is housed up there above the driver and passenger, as you can see. Uh, in that little spot where I think the window shade is also housed. And basically you're gonna install this ladder, put it right up there, which is pretty, it's pretty like straight up guys. Um, and then get up here and, and you have to unlock it, but then you have to push and hold this in while pushing up on the pop top. And it's, like I said, 85 plus degrees out here. I'm sweating in my dress pants, but we got it. We got it guys. And the pop top is set up. And now I can come up here on my ladder and I can show you. Oh my goodness, you can't say that I don't do this for you. Y'all, don't say I don't do it all. All right, that's your pop top area. So you can open up these little windows, get a little cross breeze with a screen in there. You've got this little teddy bear mattress. Did I hit a button? Maybe with my back, probably for the light. Um, we'll figure that out later, but darn it. Oh, it's right here. This is the light. And I think there's one, oh no, there's not one behind me. So I just must've pressed it by accident. But yeah, that's what you're looking at pop-up wise. I'll have to put the length in the video and let you know how long it is in terms of from the front to the back there. But you also have a big opening here that you could open up for more of a breeze this way. All right, and now we're gonna get down. Oh, just shut it off again. There's a USB plug right here, by the way, to charge things up there. So I guess you can stay up on your gizmos and gadgets in there. All right, shoes are off and we are, we are continuing with our journey. Okay, let's check out this bathroom. So this bathroom, you know, pretty standard for a wet bath, right? You've got your toilet, you've got your sink, your toilet paper roll. Chic looking door, right? It's almost like what is behind the curtain? Like, Oz. <laughs> so keeps the privacy, keeps the mystery, and it's not so obvious like, hey, this is my, this is my wet bath right here. But yeah, that's your bathroom. Now Airstream's going to give you a little bit of storage up here. This is a hanging closet, or you have shelves that are removable, so up to you what you want to use it for. Now the coolest feature, sorry about the slamming, it's getting really hot in here. Coolest feature I find is actually this little, what is this right here, you ask Gabby? Well... Guys, this, this is actually a step that's also storage. So two for one purpose here. You've got the storage when you need it, when you don't need to get access to the bed. But I'm gonna actually like, I'll come back in a minute. We'll keep going in the kitchen and then we'll come back to the bedroom. But what's cool about this step is basically you just, it gives you that, that boost you need to get up into the bed. So um, let's close it for now and then we'll continue oh there's a there's a way to unlock it too so on this side if you're looking for how to unlock it this little black lever lift it up that unlocks it otherwise you're gonna spend like 20 minutes yanking at that thing trying to figure it out maybe i'll do a separate video on that for people all right plenty of room to walk around in the back right now because the bed is whew, bed is up but you've got the contour microwave right super easy microwave nothing crazy no convection you know a little popcorn microwave 
and then just below it is going to be your fridge now really neat on this fridge i think this is a french company vitri frigo and you've got a fridge freezer here oh it's so nice and cool in there and it's only been on for like 20 minutes so super quick to cool plenty of storage for food and maybe some drink for a day or two right there is your freezer with your tiny little ice cream tray and what's neat about this is this can also be used as a whiteboard so you could write um you know a list of places you're going to go hiking maybe your grocery list for the next time you stop in a walmart parking lot whatever it is um right there is going to be the place that you write it down there's again a little bit of storage above here and oh, of course there's storage all the way around the bed and finally last but not least this is the neatest feature that the kids love is this drawer below the fridge is for Fido. Check it out, guys. Water hole. So it's uh, for home or for travel. Little removable bowls. So if you're not, if you don't have a pet coming on board, obviously you can take this whole thing out. And that's another storage drawer. But super cute little thing Airstream added for your four-legged campers. Because we all know, we've all got one. Come on. If you like adventure, you like a mess in your house, you like to walk, <laughs> you like dogs. There's some closet hooks right here, too. I'll point those out. Um, and then finally, let me take a breath here. Shut off the camera because it's got to cool down because it's overheating. And I'll come back and show you what it looks like with the bed fully made. <laughs> Now this is where I redeem myself for the um, arc bed not being fully set up. Took the time, set it up with the step. Here we go. You can um, keep the smallest edge of the mattress on this side, right? Because that's gonna be easier to put your legs there. Your head can go up there, no big deal. You do have a place for your phone to sit for a wireless charger. And if you need a second phone to charge, you can put it on top and there's actually a USB down there that you can charge two phones at once. All right, here we go. That's way better. Okay, so you have, again, the screen that comes down if you want to have some fresh air while you're sleeping. Be under the stars if you're out where there's really nobody around. I don't know about the bears, guys. I would be nervous about the bears. <laughs> but yeah, plenty of bed here. I'm actually going to lay in it. I'll get up in it, and then I'll turn the camera around so you can see I'm 5'2". Just how much space we've got in this bed. Well, that was fairly easy to get up here. That was super easy. Okay. All right, let's check it out. Oh. All right, my feet are touching and there's plenty of room above my head. There's like several inches above my head. So, oh, that's like a foot. Yeah, that's way more room than the video is kind of showing. Hang on, let me see if I can set the camera up somewhere else so you can see it from a different angle. I have nowhere to put this phone and it's getting really, really hot. Like the phone's overheating. So I have to finish up this video quick, but 78 inches, 78 is the length of this bed. That is six foot six. That is a six foot six man folks. So definitely, definitely you can fit two adults, super comfy in the range line. And I think, I think the product speaks for itself. It's a beautiful floor plan. It's a beautiful model. You know, Airstream takes time and, and, and research and they really do um, focus on quality and they've been around for so long guys they have such a great name and I just think that it's finally awesome to see them join the class B gas market um, so if you're not looking to spend you know upwards of 200,000 for a Mercedes class B by Airstream you can definitely get into one of these range lines at a you know softer price point that still gives you all the luxury upfits a short little van that gets you off grid gets you enjoying and they just they really thought out a lot of these features so overall I love it thank you so much for watching my channel and until next time time. Happy camping.